Janine, Neha, Shijal, Kumari and Devon. Well, these are the five teenagers who are at the center of uh, Nadine uh, Munsemid's debut novel titled The Unfamous Five. The book is set between the years 1993 and 2003 in Indonesia, south of Johannesburg, and follows the teens as they go on an adventure that changes the course of their lives. Nadine explores how they navigate growing up in an unequal society, as well as how their friendship bond is tested by the tragedy they encountered on Suicide Valley. Without giving much of the book away, let's now welcome Nadine into this conversation to help us dissect the book further. Nadine, a very good morning. Welcome. Thank you. Happy to be here. Well, let's start with the title of the book, The Unfamous Five, putting a specific emphasis on the unfamous part. Yes. Um, well, as you can clearly see, it's a parody of Enid Blyton's adventure series, The Famous Five. And so I think I was interested um, or maybe just intrigued in, by the fact that so many people in the global south or in post-colonial countries actually grow up reading um, The Famous Five. And it's so disparate in relation to our lived experience, especially as people of color. So I wanted to play with that formula a little bit in a way that's, I think, both playful and political. Okay. And so I transposed it across because obviously in The Famous Five, these children go on adventures and they solve crimes and they come out heroic and vic victorious. But you can already see how in crime infested South Africa, that's a formula that's going to fall flat on its face in five seconds, right? And so I think I just, the title goes some way towards suggesting that maybe in post-apartheid South Africa, you're more likely to form part of the unfamous rather than the famous five. So it's basically a political satire or political parody, is it? Right? Yes, I think it's a literary and a, a political satire in okay. that sense. Now, the book is set in the suburb of Indonesia uh, between 1993 and uh, 2003. Do unpack uh, for us the, the, the reasoning for that setting. Uh, well, I think I was intrigued. I'm a literary scholar and I specialized in contemporary South African literature. And as a result of that, I became intrigued by the fact that Lanesia is just nowhere represented in the South African contemporary yes. uh, literary scene. And so I think I wanted to insert a Lanesian story um, into the landscape, basically. Okay. Yeah. Now, without giving much away, paint us a picture of what the uh, five teenagers experienced that potentially impacted on the outcome of their lives. Gosh, well, so I think the synopsis, um, as you mentioned, sums it up, right? They encounter this crime, but because they live in South Africa, it's not a crime they can solve. And so I try then to explore how this trauma impacts their lives or the trajectory of their lives all the way into adulthood and even across the greater Johannesburg landscape. Yeah, and you were not holding back when you were talking about sexuality, race, violence. Do speak to us about the importance of these themes in this book. Yes, and I think that's maybe uh, something that's more pertinent to the South African Indian community, where I think there's often a sense of insularity or shame or secrecy around these big issues. And I think it's about breaking taboos to have better conversations. Yeah, and uh, the disjuncture between the literature, uh, I mean, our children read and the kind of opportunity and the experience that uh, they are afforded and allowed, well, in maybe post-apartheid South Africa. Um, well, yes, it's a disjuncture, but also to see how we can use that in a creative way, which is partly why I try to play with that in the novel right. as well. The book has been out for quite some time now. How has the response been? Yes, it's been, it's been really exciting. Um, it's been a very heartfelt experience sharing this with people. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to sharing it more with people. All right, so where can you forward. get a copy? It's available everywhere in every good bookstore and it's available online. All right. Nadine, great chatting to you. Thank hey, you so much. Thank for you for having here. me. Well, a big thank you to Nadine Monsemi for joining us this morning to speak about her debut novel, The Unfamous Five.